The one-to-one -one function f is defined below as f of x equals the cubed root of 2x plus 4. We're going to find the inverse of the function and find the domain of the function using interval notation. So to find domain and range for functions and their inverses, it's helpful to understand that when we have the domain of f and the range of f, and then we have f inverse, the domain becomes the range of the inverse and the range becomes the domain of the inverse. So if I know the domain of the original, I can find the range of the inverse and vice versa. So for this example, cubed root, if I want to find the domain of f, since it's a cubed root, it's helpful to understand what the graph of a cubed root looks like. The cubed root of x is a graph like if I plug in perfect cubes, I could plug in negative 8, and the cubed root of eight, negative 8 is negative 2. The cubed root of negative 1 is negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 8, 2. So we get this sideways kind of curve through the origin. The domain of this has no restrictions on the x-axis, so it's negative infinity to infinity. So then I would expect that my range of the new function would also be negative infinity to infinity. Now this is not asking for the range, but if it did, that would be my range. Now if you look at the range of this function going up and down, then it looks like, yeah, up and down there aren't any restrictions either on the y-axis, so the range of this function is also all real numbers. So then that means the domain, the range becomes the domain, is going to be negative infinity to infinity. Now let's find f inverse of x. So f inverse of x, I first, by, first replace f of x with the y variable. Next I'm going to switch the variables. Now I'm going to try to solve for y. Since y is inside of a radical, I get, need to get rid of the radical first. The inverse of a cubed root is a third power. So I'm going to raise both sides to the third power. So I get x cubed equals, here the cubed root cancels, and I bring out 2y plus 4. Now I want to get y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 4 to the left-hand side. So x cubed minus 4 equals 2y. Lastly, divide by 2. x cubed minus 4 all divided by 2 equals y. Since the original function is f, this is f inverse of x. So f inverse of x is x cubed minus 4 divided by 2.